always have a plan B, a series about life after sports. I actually started in probably the third grade when I first got in organized sports running track was kind of something that I was good at. I was a little bit faster than most kids and in my athletic career I ended up coming to USC. And now Davis and Brian Feller are going to be going at it. I don't know if Davis can make up that much ground. He's won the two, the one, the, he anchored the four by one, he won the two, he won the four. He's going to do it Tom. He's going to do it. now to anchor and win the four by four for the USC men. He is closing the gap, but Fell continues to lead. What a race this has turned out to be. This Here has, comes Davis. You can't teach heart, Tom Kelly. You Look can't teach Davis heart. Davis run. This man has got a lot of heart. Turnover patience is what got it done right there. Davis with his fourth victory tonight. The four by four, the 400, the 200, and the four by one as he made up an enormous amount of and through high school, I was really good. Going to USC, California State champion. And I got to USC and I was able to be an All-American there. Davis, Jerome Davis, who was the world's premier, one of the world's premier 400 meter men, winning it easily. You know, inducted into the USC Hall of Fame World Championship on the, our world champion in the professional ranks. So I didn't really know how good I would be when I, when I started off in the third grade, but as I kept pursuing and getting better and coming along, I just came up through the ranks. To me, having a plan B means that it's something that, it's something that you fall back on. Because when you fall back on something, it, it means that your plan A was, didn't work out the way that you thought it would be. But it's not, your plan B is not always a bad option. It's just like having a, a full-time job. Having a full-time job is a great thing because you have that consistent income coming into your home. But then if you have a plan B or you have supplemental income from whether it's coaching, whether it's training, whether it's doing something that you love, whether it's baking, that is just like that kind of discretionary income that just makes you feel like, wow, this, this is, you know, it gives you that little bit of cushion, peace of mind. So having a plan B on, in the athletic world means that, you know what? I may not get to the professional ranks that I want to get to. I just might not be the LeBron James. I just might not be the Kobe Bryant. I might not be, but if I apply myself, there's a chance that I can be great at something else. We all have to have some type of option because one day when your career is over with, everybody's looking for something else to do. Taking what I did on the track, bringing it over to the workforce, it just went hand in hand because you got to have those disciplines. You got to have that internal drive. You got to be able, you don't need someone to be, there's not going to be someone there every day knocking on your door saying, wake up, it's time to go to work. No, life doesn't work like that all the time. Sometimes you have to get up yourself and go out and make it happen. Experience life. I mean, life is, is a great thing. It has so many things to offer. You know, I heard, I heard a, an amazing quote that my uh, someone told me one day, it said that a ship is safe in the harbor, but that's not why it was created. And you know, we as human beings are like ships, but that's not why we're here. We weren't put to just be stuck in the harbor and, and not go out to sea to see what's out there. Always have a plan B. Whatever that plan B may be, I don't know. But if you find something that you're passionate about, if it's video games, be passionate about it. Create the most that you can or do whatever it is. Love your sport. Love people. And know that one day it's going to end. Meet and hang around and have positive influences in your life. Because with the relationships and with having positive people in your life, you know, the sky really is the limit. Always have a plan B, a series about life after sports. The final. Take a look at Davis. He's in the middle of your screen coming to the, the wire, and he is well in front of the field. What a premier runner he is at 400, anchors this leg of the men's 4 by 100.